Hello, welcome to Igwai Open Arm Brothers and TV. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. This is a brother in Christ. He went out to preach. His name is Ricky Costa. He went out to preach during the Halloween procession and he was arrested. I am doing this video because I want everybody to see the hypocrisy. People are allowed to play music in the public, but they are not allowed to preach with a speaker. The officer approached him and asked him if he was permitted to preach. And he said, I don't need your permission to preach. This is a public place. I know the law. The officer had to go ahead and stop him from using the microphone. And he gladly succumbed to that. He gladly obeyed that without using the microphone, even though it wasn't against the law because I could see people playing music there. Look at the background, you could hear music. Now, look at what happened. God bless y'all, I'm gonna preach this gospel. I don't need a mic to preach to you. God bless you, sir. I hope the Lord bless you. So you just can't have a mic? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. No, not at this point, no, you can't. No, I'm saying you can't have a microphone. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. That's why I went. When I get a lawyer, it's gonna be fine. When I get a lawyer, that's perfect. That's perfect, so I got loud enough for you now. God has called every man everywhere to repent. Everywhere. This officer, for whatever reason, is upset. I don't know why he is. But nevertheless, God has called every man to repent oh, everywhere. And unrighteousness. Okay, so I feel he don't have the microphone on. It is so a that's problem. what I mean, that's the problem. It is a problem. Stop it at home. You, you told me to get off the mic. That's what you told me. No, no. I'm telling you, you're stopping at this corner right now. At this corner. I will put this up, but I'm going to preach, sir. That's my, that's my right. Yes, sir. That's my right. That, that uh, under the law, the law protects me for the yes, sir, for the freedom of speech. No, sir, for the freedom of speech, sir. This is public property. It's public property. So you're gonna break the law, then? This only. Okay, sis. Sis. You wait, wait, wait. This is fine. That's fine. I need you to take my stuff, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and give you. Okay. God has called every man everywhere to repent, sir. Because God loves you. The love of God is out here for you. He's not out here to hurt you. He's here for salvation for you. You gotta come. The Bible says, "Come to Christ. Come to Christ, and you'll live." I have seen you. Come to Christ, and you'll live. 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 Just know the love of God loves you. He started preaching with his own mouth, without the microphone. I believe that the officer actually stopped him from using the microphone because he wanted to tempt him so that he could have something to hold against him. But he, I believe he was led by the Holy Spirit, he stopped using the microphone. So no speaker, but the officer was so disappointed because he was still communicating effectively. His voice was really loud enough for the people to hear him, even though they were playing music in the environment. This shows the level of hypocrisy. So people are allowed to play music in that place, but he is not allowed to use a microphone to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. After he stopped him, he was using his own mouth, just his voice to preach. He went ahead to arrest him. Brethren, this is persecution against Christians. The devil wants to shut everybody's mouth down so that we don't preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. We have people in all sectors trying to muzzle Christians, trying to shut Christians down. This shows the level of hypocrisy. This is an officer applying the same law to two different groups of people but is becoming partial in the same place. People are allowed to play music loudly in a public space, but another person who is also a citizen is not allowed to speak with his own voice to preach. The issue is not about 
disturbance, it is about the gospel. It is about what you are doing. It's not about noise. It is about what you are doing. Christians, we need to wake up. They are trying to shut us down. Even here on YouTube, there are things you say that could take your video down. Let us wake up and stand for what is right. I want to use this opportunity to thank as many who actually went ahead, left whatsoever thing they were doing to go and get him out of jail. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. Pastor Diaz Jassin, thank you for being there and for calling and for all the support you've given. Those of you who are willing to continue to support, please support because he will be going back. Uh, next Wednesday, he is going to go back. The issue is going to the court and we need to stand by him. If you are in Alabama, please uh, check the description box for his contact details. If you want to support him, support his ministry rescue ministry please do well to support this ministry i will be very very glad they it's a team they go out to preach they evangelize these are the kind of things you should support please do well to support them financially morally pray for them also spiritual support god will bless you if you do so please share this video please share this video enough of this partiality they have planted their people everywhere in the police force so that they can shut christians down don't say it doesn't concern you you may not do much but just sharing this video is enough just share let everybody see this let everybody stand up to question the application of this law let us stand up for what we believe as christians then also i want to shock you do you know that after this brother got out of jail, he went straight to the same place and started preaching. This is the love of God. Because by the blood that was shed on Calvary over 2,000 years ago, the love of God now is spread abroad among all of those that believe on this son. God is calling every man, every woman, everywhere to repent. Yeah, God. The officer that arrested me for preaching the gospel, I'm sure you're going to be looking at because you want to see where you're headed to. My God. You want to see what I'm doing. But you didn't do this thing to me. I'm not hurt. But what you did, you did it to the Lord. This is what we Christians should stand for. Let nobody shut you down. If they stop you, you go ahead and continue doing the work of the Lord. We shouldn't be arrested because we are doing evil. We should be arrested for doing good. And when we get arrested and persecuted, let us come out stronger. Let us come out with our faith refined. Let's remember that we have a short time here. And for those of you who haven't given your life to Christ, please give your life to Jesus Christ. The days are getting darker and more evil. Let us know that when we see this level of persecution, let's know that the Lord Jesus Christ is at, hand, is at hand. We will live here soon. Don't give up. Brother Ricky Casta, don't give up. Keep preaching. Don't give up. Keep moving with the gospel of truth. And I know the Lord Jesus Christ is with you. Continue to preach the gospel you are preaching. And God will never leave you alone. All the money you spend, the Lord Jesus Christ is going to replenish you. Don't worry. Look at him. He is preaching again. Again. He's preaching again. Even in the vehicle. He's preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you. God bless you. As you watch the remaining video, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share this video. See you again. Bye bye. Four buildings. But where are the ministers? Where are them that are supposed to bear light? God has called you, every one of us to repent, God bless you, and to be born again. All things pass away, and behold, all things to be made new. God bless you, brother. It makes no sense for us to depend on the things of this world when the things of this world are destroying you. One day you're gonna lay down in that grave and your maggots is gonna eat your body. But the thing is that this body is gonna come out of the grave because of being born again. But if you are not born again, Maggie's going to eat your body and then that body is going into hell.